Well, jumping right into the show right now, our first guest of 2022, how about that? Our very first guest is celebrating a fresh start of sorts because in its 104 year history, Metro United Way has never had an African-American CEO until now. Adria Johnson is the new leader and has already made her mark on the Metro United Way. Adria, thank you for joining us and congratulations to you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. I feel like you're you're kicking off our new year first guest with uh, so, so much positivity and, and leadership here. You know, for people that may not be familiar, you're born and raised right here in the Louisville area, way to go. Uh, but how do you think that your influences and your experiences here in this community have, have shaped you as a woman? And how do you think that's gonna help you um, move Metro United Way forward? Oh gosh, well, I think um, just, you know, being an African-American woman, being homegrown, uh, born and raised in this community and have lived here my entire life other than going away for college, you know, um, and also having experienced, you know, some of the struggles that many of the people that we are working to help lift out of have experienced, just give me, you know, um, uh, not just a relatability, but a, a keen understanding of, of what struggle is like and what it's like to, um, you know, perhaps be somewhat disadvantaged and, you know, so to to be a woman stepping into this space and to be an African-American woman stepping into this space, you know, at a time when I think we are experiencing a demand for reckoning and equity that we've not perhaps experienced um, before to this degree um, is means everything. You know, it means that uh, those that look up to me, not just personally, but in the community that I may not have a personal relationship with, um, you know, it, it, it's something to know that there are, you know, young women that have reached out to me. I can't tell you how many that have just, you know, said, wow, you have no idea what an inspiration you are to me. You've given me a renewed sense of, you know, just hope that the goals that I have for myself, I can actually achieve them. So it's, um, it's incredibly meaningful to be able to serve in this space in this moment. You know, and speaking of goals, from your personal goals to the goals that you're already setting for Metro United Way, uh, tell us a little bit more about this new initiative, Black Love, L-O-V-E. What does that stand for? Well, um, so love stands for live, own, vote, and excel. And, you know, it really is a construct around philanthropy that challenges the way philanthropy has often um, historically just been gone about. And so what Black Love is really working to do is to shift the power um, imbalances that can exist um, in the world of philanthropy by giving those um, with the lived experience, with proximity to the struggle, the, the power in shaping how those resources can best support their community. So to be able to give voice to that and influence and then also have a key seat at the table in directing those resources in a way that's most meaningful um, is game changing and transformative. And it also uh, is being done in a way that, you know, is very comprehensive. There are, you know, within each of those letters that love stands for, there are very real strategies and supports that can help everyone to achieve those aspects of their life. But um, it really is also taking the burden away from those that receive funding. Um, again, often the systems that we've been operating with them have placed more of a burden on those that need the support and having to advocate and make the case for support when really we should be focused on the outcomes and, and where the meaningful work is happening and how it can best benefit communities. You must have coming into this so many ideas for like short term and, and long term what you want to see changed. How do you how do you attack that? How do you look forward to this year and say these are some things that maybe haven't been addressed and we, we've got to get on top of this and then kind of look forward and say these are the institutional changes. I want to I want I want the whole community to look back and say look what Metro United Way did. 
think, you know, first and foremost, you know, being a brand new CEO, while not a, a new to the community, obviously new in this space, you know, one of my first orders of business was just to, and, and has been for the past five months, to just get out and make as much connection as I possibly can um, in this role that I'm in and to, you know, really educate the community on the work of United Way, the shifts that we're making, and also to really start laying some foundational education around the degree to which the challenges that we're trying to overcome actually exist in community and the level of resource that is needed to really overcome them. And so I think there's just some short-term immediate, hey, I'm Adria, let me make sure that you you keenly understand United Way and what we are about. And then, you know, doing all of that in parallel with what you alluded to. There are larger systems level changes that are needed for us to really see the change that we want in community. And so, you know, part of that relationship building and education is also geared toward, you know, that longer term strategy of rallying the level of support and resource needed so that we can make these larger changes that will have greater impact. So I, you know, I I think one is not done without uh, very intentional consideration of the other. So it's almost like, you know, working two parallel tracks at the same time and never losing sight of the, of the bigger goals that we have. And that is just for everyone to have an ample opportunity to thrive, regardless of, of your zip code, regardless of your, you know, physical makeup, um, regardless of the way that you want to live your life, everyone should have an equal and equitable opportunity to live their best life. Absolutely. Adria, thank you so much for taking the time. Happy New Year, and um, we're going to be cheering you on all year long. Oh, well, thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. Well, thank if you'd you. like Happy to learn. Happy New Year to you as well. Oh, thank you so much. If you'd like to learn a bit more about Metro United Way, visit MetroUnitedWay.org.